it's an interesting to think about. Like even doing this series, I kept, I would email Chris and cause I, it was impossible not to, to kind of yeah. carry him in mind. Cause he, you know, he's been on this journey with me. Hi, Tara. Tom, I can't tell you how excited I am. I know it has been a long day for you. I was so hoping this would be in person. I was trying to read The Secret and manifest it, and it's virtual, but I'm still just as nervous. So thank you for your time today. <laughs> oh, that's so kind. I know we live <laughs> you know, in a new world, a new virtual world. Well, and hopefully the next one will be in person. I think I've only seen the two episodes they sent us. It is so fantastic. But I am oh. very appreciative that you did that video to kind of catch us up to speed in 30 seconds that I found on YouTube. Do you ever <laughs> get confused? <laughs> I did, initially, I did initially kind of walking up to, to, to start production. I, I had to remind myself that this Loki was the, the Loki that starts in the series is the Loki from the end of the first Avengers movie. Right. Uh, he hasn't right. been through the dark world and Ragnarok and infinity war. Um, and uh, we're jumping through time and different realities and different possibilities of reality. So yes, I, there was there were a lot of spider charts and a lot of a lot of kind of um, <laughs> diagrams in my script just to make sure that I was in the right place. You know, speaking of time travel and multiverses and, and which Loki is this, um, I know that when you were cast, you were probably in your late 20s. I know you just, happy birthday late, by the way. I know you just turned the big 4-0. Um, if you could go back and, and meet up with a version of yourself, what time period would that be from? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know. Maybe I would go back to... I don't know, maybe when I was a student, I think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I was probably like many students, you know, I had my private worries about how things would turn out. And um, and uh, I, don't, I think that's common to, to so many people. And certainly was true of me. And, and I would just kind of try and reassure him a bit. And because, yeah. uh, you know, beginning, beginning life can seem so overwhelming and um i think you just if you just you know, things will unfold as they as they as th things will happen whether you like it or not yeah. <laughs> um, but maybe back then when i was in my kind of early 20s i was worried about it but i would go back and try and reassure him a bit yeah tell yeah. him he's going to be just fine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe show him the loki horns you know it, it's interesting i know when they announced that you were getting a six hour series fans weigh in on who they hope is going to show up and what cameo you know might might be made without giving anything away what cameo were you kind of hoping might show up whether it does or it doesn't we won't know we won't say but was there something or somebody that you were hoping to see when you found out you'd be doing this for six hours ah uh, gosh that's a good question um i mean there are a well, <laughs> again, we're not saying if they do or not. Yeah. I'm just curious, yeah, yeah. like, who was your yeah. instinct? Like, are you like most fans? You know, is Hemsworth coming back? Like, where were you on that whole thing? Who was the first thing that popped into your head? Again, not giving anything away. I won't even read your body language on this. Sure, sure. So it's it, it's it's um, it's a curious one because there. Well, I I do have I do have someone in mind, but I I think I'd rather keep the powder dry for, for everyone to find out. Oh, that's um, fair. Yeah, uh, you know, I once somebody once said to me um, years ago or a couple of years ago, is Loki really dead? And um, the best thing I could think of in response was time will tell. <laughs> OK, <laughs> and I think time will tell on this one, too. <laughs> Do you think Thor might be jealous of the chemistry you have with Owen Wilson in this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, no. Th Thor is like, that's the thing. I, what I love about this universe is like Thor and Loki started together and they've been like, they ran on parallel tracks for a while and, and now they're kind of on different tracks, but they're right. still aware of each other. That's the thing. They're sort of both Thor and Loki that, you know, they, they exist in the minds of each, you know, it was really, it's an interesting to think about, like even doing this series, I kept, 
I would email Chris and because I it was impossible not to to kind of carry him in mind because he you know he's been on this journey with me but he's got his own um he's got his own new family in love and thunder and and uh I think I'm pretty sure Thor's you know got his own challenges now (laughs) different challenges you're good about not answering this stuff because I know you can't you really can't but here's my big idea and I know they wrap me I'm thinking Vince Vaughn makes a cameo you and Owen end up in some sort of wedding crashers (laughs) <laughs> that's a cameo I don't think anyone's tossed out and I feel like I might be onto something it would be interesting I mean that would be that's one that's one branch on the timeline for sure yeah yeah well you heard it here first just remember the gal from Arizona who hopes to meet you in person one day thanks Tom <laughs> thanks Tara <laughs>